Hello and welcome to About the House. Every year, two parliamentarians, one from the government and one from the opposition, are selected to represent the Australian Federal Parliament at the United Nations General Assembly in New York City. Member for Bruce, Alan Griffin, recently spent three months at the UN, taking part in negotiations about humanitarian issues and global military conflicts. His visit coincided with Australia's turn in chairing the Security Council. I recently spoke with Mr Griffin about his UN experience, including the benefit of being able to spend an extended period of time looking at these issues. At, at the UN you're often dealing with uh, motions or, or issues which are uh, there's a series of meetings which relate to them over, over weeks and sometimes longer and uh, also with issues like for example uh, the tragedy of the Ebola crisis. Um, we were there when that first came to public attention and uh, we were able to I suppose observe what was happening with respect to uh, energising support at the um, uh, Security Council level um, and through the General Assembly to actually get international um, uh, uh, support uh, into um, those countries and then also be able to um, review over time how successful that was. So we were um, the chairs for the month of November um, and uh, uh, during that time uh, the chair plays a key role in terms of setting the agenda uh, of the Security Council with respect to additional issues beyond the everyday things which come up which must be dealt with. I mean the Security Council is pretty reactive uh, because it's where people go when there's a crisis. Uh, but during our time there we were able to also focus on international policing uh, issues and, uh, and, and make some, some important points about the need to engage in those areas. Well, at the Security Council there are real outcomes being achieved uh, because it is the pointy end. Uh, a lot of other talking goes on, and even at the Security Council an awful lot of talking goes on, and a lot of it is repetitive. Uh, but if you like, I, I think it's all part of what you need to do if you're going to engage internationally. Uh, it's part of um, what diplomacy is about. Uh, it's not somewhere where necessarily you'll see outcomes uh, that, um, that you know, explode forth quickly. But certainly on the Security Council, when you're dealing with international crises, you will see action. I think, and I mentioned the Ebola crisis, uh, I think that was probably the most, um, one of the most uh, poignant and confronting issues that I've seen debated um, in an international forum. And uh, we actually, for example, um, had uh, a you know, live um, computer link hookup uh, to um, uh, have briefings from uh, people who were actually on the ground um, in some of those countries and uh, I remember one of the most, um, I suppose, um, confronting moments was a, a live link through to uh, one of the uh, doctors who was actually dealing with the crisis in the early days and, and him going through uh, the terrible tragedy and uh, losing friends uh, and basically seeing an unfolding human disaster occurring before his eyes. Uh, but I think that in itself really um, made a, a, a real impression on uh, the Security Council membership uh, and the wider international community and certainly helped to get support uh, through to those locations when they were needing it. To find out more about the United Nations General Assembly and Australia's role within it, see the website.